Hey everyone, it's happy hour in my loom kitchen and today we'll be making these loom martinis. It is fairly easy to make. If you click on the link below this video in the information box, there's a link that will take you to the recipe page. I listed down all the colors I used as well as the band count for this creation. So check that out, come back, and let's begin. There are a few things I need to mention before we start and... One is, this creation needs a little stuffing. Just a few pieces of fiber fill to fill the top portion. And another thing I need to mention is that we need some support on the stem. I'm using these balloon sticks, and I just cut them to 3 inches in height. Now for those with the garnishes like an olive or a cherry, all you need is a stick because it can stand on its own. Now, for the other creations with, if you choose to use the lime wedge or a lemon wedge or even an orange wedge or orange slice, you would need extra support. So, I like this cup that comes with the balloon stick where you attach the balloon. I place them under to help it stand better because no matter how many bands you place under, it will stand at most one second and then it will tilt to the side. So this little plastic cup attachment helps a lot. So these are the garnishes that I've been using for my cocktails and I have a lime, lemon, and an orange wedge or slice. These three are made from Jordan Teen One's Large Circle Burst Charm and I have a link to that tutorial on the recipe page. Now, the only difference is that her full charm is 18 rows, while I didn't use up the full 18 rows. Like this one is a 14 row slice, and this is 10, 10 rows and 10 rows. So you can decide which size you want to make. For the olive, I'll be showing you how to make this now. But if you had wanted a cherry, it is the exact same way except that you'd be using all red bands. Take your loom and remove your center row. Even if you could have the remaining two rows facing on, on opposite directions. My front is facing to the right, my back is facing to the left. Take your hook and a single red band. Wrap it around your hook three times. Then you take four of your olive color and just pull that through. Now take one pair and stretch each side onto one peg on separate sides. Take the other pair and place opposite sides like that in an X. Now you're just going to do one round double bands on the four pegs and lift those lower two bands up and over. Now we're going to take the upper two bands on this peg and just move it here. Upper two bands on this peg And just move it here. Then we're going to take double bands again and go around these six pegs. And lift the lower, all the lower bands up and over.
one more actually we need to do two more rounds on these six pegs Just lay your double bands and lift the lower bands up and over Okay, we're finishing up the third round on the six pegs. You can push, start pushing it up a bit because it'd be hard to turn it inside out. Now you go to this peg and separate those upper two bands from the lower two. Put your hook through and pick up the lower two bands. And the opposite end of these two bands is coming from here. Let's place that over here. And pick that up and just let that go. Separate these two bands here. Put your hook through. Pick up the lower two bands. And the opposite end of this pair is coming from here so I'll place this here and just pick this up to release and just stick your finger in from under push it up but don't remove it from your loom now you're going to take single band double, place it here, another single band, double, two bands here, two bands here, now lift all the bands, oops, push that up, lift all the lower bands up and over. Now you're just going to take single bands straight out over these four pegs. Lift all the bands up and over, leaving only two bands on each peg. Now we're going to close it starting from here. So place your hook through across and pick up the lower band and bring it there. Place your hook through the peg, push back those upper two bands and pick up only the lower band. Move it forward. Hook through, pick up the lower band move it to the one across hook through pick up only the lower band move it forward this one only has one and bring it back to that starting peg and place your hook through the starting peg grab a single clear band and tie that off with a slip knot And that is your olive attachment. Let's start with our martini glass and your, your loom should be set up the same way as it was set up for the olive. 
with the center row removed and the remaining rows facing in opposite directions. So you get your hook, your loom hook or a crochet hook. Get two of your drink colored bands. Wrap it around that hook once. And this is the center of your drink. And will serve as the cap band for, all, for the entire top portion. Now you take a single drink band, put it through, then two drink bands, and pull that through. Then another two, pull it through, and another two, pull it through. So you're basically creating a chain of the single, double, double, double from the center. So let's put this down on this center peg. Now you're just going to repeat that chain 20 more times from the center. Put your hook through that center, pull a single band through, then two bands, pull that through, another two bands, pull it through, Another last pair of bands pull through and let's bring that across it. So that's the same process all around. Let me show you again. Put your hook through the center, pull in a single, pull a single band through, another two bands, another two bands, And the last pair of two bands. And I'm going to put it on the other end here first. So it marks my end portion. Over there. Go through the center, Let's do that same chain again, single, double, double. And one more double. And 
and just place it down on the other end. So continue just making that chain from this center cap band of the single, double, 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 and you're going to do that on 20 pegs, 10 pegs on each side. So if you just pause your video and finish up this, the rest of the chains from the center, unpause when you're done and we will resume from there. After you're done with your 20 chains around the 20 pegs, this is how your layout should look. And our next step is to weave the drink colored bands around these 20 pegs. So you're going to put your hook through the first peg, pull it up. Let's place one end temporarily here and replace the peg you lifted those bands from with the other end. Go to the second peg, pull two drink bands through, place one end on the previous peg, and the other end replaces the peg. So we are going to just repeat that all around. the last peg. Pull those two bands through. One on the previous, one replaces the peg. Now take that other end of the band we temporarily placed here from the start and just place it over. So push all the drink bands down because now we have to place one layer of the glass rim above the drink band, above the drink bands. And um, but right before that, let's attach one portion of our garnish. So you take your garnish, put your hook through one end. Now you take two drink bands and pull it through and just place one end here and the other end here. Just leave that there for now. Push all those orange or those drink bands down. If you were going to attach the olive, let me show you how you would do that if you place that here. First part, you would just insert, let's say you wanted to place your olive this way, just insert your hook onto any one of those parts, and then you can just insert your bands through and attach it the same way. 
that way. And just leave it there for the meantime. That way. So let me remove this because I'm only leaving the orange slice for this creation. Now let's start with the glass rim. You're going to take your glass colored bands, two of them, and we're going to create excess around the entire 20 pegs. I'll speed up a lot of times during this tutorial because most of the actions are repetitive. So anytime you need to pause your video, if you need to catch up, please do so. So the last here. Now we're going to lay double glass bands over all these excess. But first let's start with the area where our garnish is. So you just have to insert your hook in the center for the wedge and grab two of your glass bands. Place one end here and the other end here, like that. Now if it were your olive, and I'll put this back here just to show you. If you were using the olive attachment, the tail of your olive if you could just pick it up from under that X of the glass rim and just place it on one of the pegs and that's and you would just have to continue laying your bands around. So let me remove the olive again. Now let's continue laying our glass bands. Now your glass bands are laid out. We're going to lift, if you look at your side, you have your drink layer, that X'd out glass layer, and the top glass layer. We're only going to lift the X'd out glass bands under. Don't touch your drink bands. So you'll be left with four glass bands and four drink bands on each bag. After all the glass bands have been lifted up and over in each bag, we're now going to weave through the glass bands. Um, we're going to have to weave glass bands mixed with a drink band. So we're going to start connecting this to the drink portion. So we're going to take one glass band and one drink band and you're going to pull that through just the glass bands on this first peg. Put one end here to replace the peg and let's place this end here temporarily. Same weave process we did earlier for the drink area. So just lift those glass bands here, pull those two in, pull through, put one end on the previous peg, replace the peg 
with that next set of bands and we're gonna do this all throughout last peg put those mixed bands through those glass bands replace the peg with one end and put the other end on the previous peg and now take this end which you placed here temporarily and put it over so you see the mixed band layer on top and your drink band layer below now we're just going to take those four drink band layers under and lift them up and over on each peg. After lifting the drink bands up and over in the 20 pegs, we're going to now decrease to 18 pegs and we're going to start here in this extended area. If you could just separate your upper two bands from your lower two bands that way, put your hook through, pick up the lower two bands release those two bands left on the peg just pull it to tighten it and now check where your those two bands on your hook check where the other end is coming from and I see it's coming from this area so you just pull it opposite across let's do the same here Put your hook through, pick up the lower two bands, release those two bands on the peg, pull it, and place it opposite from where those bands are coming from. After every decrease, we're going to do one round. So we're on 18 pegs now and we're going to place double bands around the 18 pegs. One round means lay double bands and after laying those double bands, you're going to lift all the lower bands up and over, leaving only those double bands that you just placed on top. This is the start of the round on 18 pegs. If you can pause your video and finish up this round, come back when you're done and we'll start with the next decrease. After the round on 18 pegs, let's decrease now to 16. So on this peg, put your hook through, 
Make sure your upper two bands are separated from your lower two. And just pick up the lower two bands. Release those two bands on the peg. And go opposite from where your two bands and your hook are coming from. Let's do the same here. Hook through, pick up the lower two bands, release the remaining two bands on your peg, pull, and bring it opposite. Push it down. Let's begin your round now on the 16 pegs, laying your double bands and lifting the lower bands up and over. So pause your video again and I'll see you after this round. Now at 16 pegs, let's decrease to 14 pegs. So from the extended area here, separate your upper two from your lower two. Hook through. Pick up the lower two bands. Release those two bands on your hook, on your peg, I mean. Then go opposite to from where you're bands are coming from, push it down. Now on the other side, same. Put your hook through, pick up the lower two bands, release those two bands on that peg, pull, and go opposite. Now let's start our round on the 14 pegs. Pause your video again and come back as soon as you're done with this round. Let's decrease now from 14 pegs to 12 pegs. And so you place your hook through here, pick up the lower two bands, Release those two bands left on the peg and pull and place those two bands in your hook opposite. Do the same here. Place your hook through, pick up the lower two bands. Release those two bands on left on the peg, pull it, and coming from here, Just bring it here. Now start your round on your 12 pegs. Pause your video, finish up your round on the 12 pegs, unpause when you're done, and we'll resume from there. So let's decrease now from our 12 pegs down to 10 pegs. So on this extended portion, put your hook through, pick up the lower two bands, release those two bands left on the peg, and Place those two bands opposite. Same here. Pick up the lower two. Release. And place the two bands opposite from where they come from. Okay, this point it's tight under and we can 
slowly push our martini glass up. Push your creation gently up, making sure that your bands won't fall off the pegs. So now let's do our round on these 10 pegs. And let's decrease this now to eight bags. So put your hook through again, pick up the lower two bands, release. The other side. Look through, lower two bands, release, and lay it down. Let's do our round on the eight pegs. So before we decrease from the eight pegs down to six, we're going to have to stuff our creation. Just fill it up a bit. Not too much, just enough to for it to keep its shape. Start to shape your top portion a bit. So let's decrease this now on this peg, this extended peg. Hook through, pick up the lower two bands, release. Same on the other side. Look through. So on six pegs, we're doing the transition to our stem. So you're going to do mixed bands again on this row one glass band and one drink band before the decrease to four pegs. This is your last chance to stuff and fix your top portion as much as you want because once we get to the stem, it'll be pretty difficult to add anything more on top. So 
So let's decrease now from 6 pegs to 4 pegs. Through here, pick up the lower two bands, release. Lower two, release. We're now at four pegs and if you find it a little difficult to work with the slant and you prefer to work with the pegs in front of each other, you can just move this here and move this one. So we're starting with the stem portion on these four pegs and we're going to need 10 rounds of just your glass colored bands. Lay down your bands and lift the lower bands up and over. So if you can pause your video and finish up these 10 rounds, unpause when you're done and we'll continue from there. We finished 10 rounds on the four pegs and your glass, as you can see, can't stand on its own or the stem doesn't really support it. So you take your stick and just insert it. I find it easier when you twist it through. After inserting the stick inside the stem, we're going to do one last round. I'm using a different color for my last round on these on the stem because we're creating the base of the loom and it will be difficult to show you using clear bands, but if you you can use the same glass bands. We'll be needing a sewing band to close this off, so you take two clear bands or your glass colored bands and just create a slip knot with both to be able to tie that off. Now I'll put one end temporarily here to hold it. Go through this bag. Pick up the other end of that sewing band, lift it off the hook, move the end here, next peg, pull the sewing band through, Let's move this here. And on the last bag, take the other end of your sewing band, just knot it together. Just knot off the sewing band in any way you're comfortable knotting it off. Let's begin with the base of our glass. And normally I'd be using the same glass color for the base, 
but I'll be using separate colors or different colors per chain so that you can see where to insert your hook. Now, if you look at the bottom, you can see your last row. There are like four ridges, and that was the last row you placed on the stem. If you take a look at one ridge, you see there are four bands. Now you insert your hook on the two bands below. Now you take two bands pull it through and create a slip knot. Don't pull it too tight. Now place your hook again through those same two bands on your ridge. You get two bands Pull it through, take the other end on your hook. Now you're going to, you see six rounds on your hook. Now you're going to take these two bands on the front and you're going to pull it through those back four bands. Now you're going to place your hook through the same ridge again, those two bands on that first ridge. And you're going to put get two bands and same thing, put it through. Take the other end. So on the six bands on your hook or six rounds on your hook, you take that first two and pull it through the back four. So on your first ridge, you can see we created three knots. You have the white, orange, and white. Now you're going to take your hook and go to your second ridge. Insert it on those lower two bands of that ridge. You take two bands again, pull it through, and insert those two, the first two, through those other four bands on your hook. Then you go back in that same ridge, take two bands, put it through, insert those first two through the other four on your hook. One last time on that second ridge. Two bands through, insert the first two through the second pair and that third pair there. So it looks that way. Now let's go to the third ridge and repeat what we just did there. Insert, two bands through, and pull the first two bands through the other four, insert again, two bands through. And insert, insert it one last time.
to Bansu. Insert those first two through the second. And the, uh, the last two. Now let's go to the last ridge. Insert your hook. Two bands through. And insert the first two on your hook through the next two and the other two. Insert again. Pull it through. Pull that those first two bands through those four on your back on your hook. And the last, insert, pull two bands through, and pull it through the four pegs behind your hook. So you have your first round. And now we're going to connect this last one to the very first chain we created. So just move your tail. We're going to place our hook through here in that first chain. and pull it through. We're going to count the number of chains we made. We should have 12 chains. So this is the first chain, which is white. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to start with our second row, and you're going to go through your first chain here, insert your hook. on that first white chain on the top portion of the first white chain two bands pull it through and it's the same thing six bands on your hook pull the, the first two bands through that second pair and that other pair on your hook, the four bands on your hook. And we're only going to do that once on the first chain. And now on, we go to chain number two, which is the orange one here. Insert it again, just in the top portion. Same process. Now we're going to go to the third chain. We're going to do it twice on the third chain. And go through. Go back in that third chain.
Medical Serum. Toilet Serum. Now, chain number four is one again. So the pattern is once, once, then twice. So number four, we're going to go in once. Number five, gonna go in once. Number six, we're gonna go through this chain twice. So this is the first time on chain number six. Go in again. Now to chain number seven, we're going to go in once. Pull that through, pull it through, number eight, once again, pull it through, Number nine, we'll go in twice in chain number nine. Go back in number nine. Go through and let's go to number 10 and we're just going to go in number 10 once and to the 11th we'll go in once And the last, number 12, will go in number 12 twice. Go through. Go through. And one last time in that number 12 chain. Go through and 
come through. And that's it. We're just going to close up that end of the circle by going back in the next chain. that one band through and just tie it off. Now you just get your hook and you can just hide that tail anywhere under. Like I mentioned earlier, since this one has a garnish of a wedge, this one needs the extra support. So take the cup from your balloon stick and insert it under. And that's it. I hope you like it. Enjoy your Lou Martinis.